Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today I'm going to be showing you how to colour your line art to make it look like a rainbow, like I've done here. Firstly, to do this, you're going to want to go into your layers menu, which is right here. Firstly, find the layer with some line art on it. And here I'm going to do a new layer and pretend I'm doing some line art. Then that would be my line art because it's the lines in the drawing. Now, if you want to make your line art rainbow, you're firstly going to want to duplicate the layer by pressing this. This makes sure that you have a backup one right there in case you don't like the rainbow. Then, on the one at the top that you're going to use as the rainbow, you're going to click Protect Alpha. And then you're going to start off with red. Protect Alpha makes sure that you can only colour on things you've already drawn on. So, get some red firstly. And then get some orange. Continue going downwards slowly at whatever speed you like to do. And then once you've got the colours you are satisfied with, you're going to want to blend them because this looks really ruggedy. To blend them, all you have to do is go into your brushes and get the blur brush. Make sure that the brush isn't too big, otherwise it takes away the colour. And go to the intersections between the colours and just gently blur them. Keep going to all the intersections and blur them. This is where it's like after doing the initial blur, but you'll notice that some colours didn't blend so well. And for that, you're just going to want to sort of keep blurring and blurring between them, and they will eventually fade a lot better like that. If you do want them to be able to blend easier, then try going down the rainbow in the smaller bits. So to show you what I mean by that, I'm going to duplicate the original black layer again and then do this in a different style. Just like the original rainbow one, we will start at the top, but this time we'll go down in smaller chunks and make the gaps less noticeable. As you can see, the gaps are a lot less noticeable and it looks a lot nicer from the start. But then if we blur it and blend it again, it will look really, really nice. And here it is after being blended fully. It looks really nice like this and rainbow line art is so fun to do. We still have the original line art layer down here. And something that's quite fun to do is put the rainbow one underneath. And then use transform up here to just shift it a little bit to the side like that or completely to the side, depending on how much distortion you want in your drawing. Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember that you can use whatever colours you want. No, you don't just have to use rainbow, you can use any colour or any gradient. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!